CEOs have had a lot of challenges to navigate this year. Inflation, cost cuts, how about rising interest rates? But our next guest has found three winners of the year, but is also placing a few on the hot seat for 2024. Let's bring in Jeff Sonnenfeld, Senior Associate Dean for Leadership Studies at the Yale School of Management. He's also a CNBC contributor. Jeff, uh, Jeff welcome, and we'll waste no time. Uh, let's start. We'll go in, in reverse order, lead up to your number one reveal. Uh, your number three is actually CBS's Karen Lynch. Karen Lynch has done uh, remarkably well. Uh, she, her revenues are up about 20 percent. Uh, you know, the big breakthrough is here. She's got a $350 billion company. She runs the largest company run by any woman, but she's run it extremely well. There was, uh, a, you know, a little bit of a, of a transition as she took over from a uh, uh, Larry Merlo, Merlo, a very well-respected uh, predecessor a few years ago, earlier, but she had to integrate the Aetna insurance business with the CVS business. Done a remarkable job there. Been a leader in sort of in, in healthcare and getting rid of cigarettes in the store, seeing their, themselves as, as, as health promotion. But the biggest thing of all is the revolutionary new approach that she's taken to Cost Plus on bringing real transparency uh, that's been needed into the, the cost of drugs. It's uh, uh, I think people are still unraveling and figuring it out right now, but, but there's been regulatory pressure that she's gotten in front of. Instead of being pushed to sort of sort of try to catch up to it all, uh, she's shown an ability to, uh, I think, to, to race ahead. And that's a, a remarkable model on, on many fronts. Jeff, what is the thing that Karen Lynch has to work through the most in 2024? What's the biggest hurdle she has to overcome in the coming year? You know, I was hoping you wouldn't ask me that annoying question, Dominic, because it's a very <laughs> good one. Is And this is true of her competitors as well, especially Walgreens, is any of us know that we go into those pharmacies, those uh, those pharmacists and their deputies are working way too hard. The hours are are excessive, they're exhausting, and we worry just about the, the day. I don't know of any mistakes that are happening, any tragedies, uh, but we're really on the edge of it. The, these people are, um, uh, I think, <laughs> I don't know really need to try to figure out the better workforce management scheduling and, and finding more uh, more pharmacists. Let, let's move on, Jeff, then to our number two, uh, Pat Gelsinger. Intel shares, we were just talking today about how they've done. It's been pretty strong, but he's, he certainly has his challenges still cut out. Well, you know, the challenges, he, the stock is up like 80 percent. As he came in, he had a lot of cleanup to do the first two years of uh, uh, and he's been very candid about opportunities they they missed. They they missed uh, his predecessor uh, in investing, uh, of course, uh, in cell phones and, and mobile uh, chips and on other fronts. What he has done, in, in, in addition to uh, uh, that, that stock is up and uh, his his impact on the, the personal computer chips. So the sales are rebounding from last year. Is uh, he's been investing uh, fantastically in new specialized AI chips. A NVIDIA, which has done very well, and I don't want to get Jim Cramer mad at me, <clears throat> very <laughs> impressive leadership, but uh, they've, they've had a much more generalized chip. What he's coming up with is highly specialized ones, uh, and he's uh, uh, this uh, this Meteor Lake and a whole bunch of things that he's coming up with, this, this Ultra, that is uh, a AI-enabled features that I think it's going to take a lot of share away. But also what he's done is shown great, great patriotism by this $100 billion investment in manufacturing in the U.S. and not just in his backyard uh, in Silicon Valley, but, of course, in, in Arizona and New Mexico, Oregon, and especially Ohio, that's going to reduce our reliance on uh, Taiwan and, uh, and uh, other Asian chip makers. And this is uh, this is pretty remarkable, working closely with the government. And uh, so I think he's been uh, he's, he's really been exceptional on many fronts of performance. And yeah. he, he was an Intel guy who came back in after a couple of years of great performance uh, uh, in other tech companies. But they're they're really lucky to get Pat Gelsinger uh, back in there. Very spiritual and principled person, too, speaking of this time of year, day after Christmas.